Okay, so today we're going to go through the booking in process for columns. Okay, uh, so the first thing you want to do, like any other product that comes into the building, you always want to check your product first. Uh, make sure it's all there and give all delivery dockets then to your manager um, or the finance team. Okay, uh, so typically um, whenever columns come in, they come in in a box like this here and usually they come in with five trays. Okay, so the first one thing you want to do um, is get your columns all ready. Okay, uh, and then you will go to the stock management sheet. And if you check where the last live come up is, which is here, and it's number 1540, so that's the live one. So we're moving on to the next one, which is 1541. Okay, so that's going to be your stock ID. Okay, so what you would do then is you just take yourself over to the columns here, um, and you'll put your ID here. Okay, so as you can see on the sheet here, it does say 4GC. And then 1541. We're just going to put the number in. We don't need to put the 4GC. The number is fine there. So 1541. Okay, and that'll be our first one. And they always work down the way rather than across. Okay, so 1542 will then be here. Okay. And you can follow that sequence all the way to the very end there. Okay, so now that you have uh, all your stock IDs applied to the tracking notes, what we're going to do now is add them on to the stock management sheet. Okay, so there's three fields that we are going to fill in here. You get your SIM field, all your SIM numbers. You get your IMAI numbers and your serial numbers, or ESN as it's known. Okay, and you'll find these on the tracking unit. Okay, three barcodes. That's your ESN, your SIM in the middle, and your IMAI there at the bottom. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, the SIM numbers. And it's just a matter of just scanning. And keeping your eye on the stock management sheet there, okay? Now what you might, might find sometimes when scanning these is it may pick up a different barcode. So I'll show you now. As you can see in the stock sheet here, I've been scanning down and it's picked up the ESN number instead, okay? And this is why it's important at the end of each tray or while you're going along, keep an eye on your stock management sheet just to look for any errors. That's a case of just going back there. Make sure you just check your stock ID here which is 1545, and we're going to fix that. 1545 is here, and that's the same number back in. That's not been fixed, so we're just going to carry on to the very end. Putting the same numbers in. Um, and as I say, it is very good practice. It happened again there. See, 1553, so we're going to go over to 1553. And that is exactly why it's important at the end of each tray to just keep an eye on your stock management sheet because you want everything to fall in line there. Okay, so that's all the SIM numbers there. Okay, so there's 16 there. And that's your 16 SIMs. Now if you look down here, you'll see a little count. And that tells you how many you've got highlighted. 16. Okay, so now we're going to do the IMAI number. The IMAI number is slightly easier because the barcode's at the bottom. So most times you can catch the barcode. And a good way to do it, I just slightly blow it. And up. And again, this will be just the 16 units. And that's your IMAI is inserted. And then your final field here, which will be your ESN or serial number. And that is the top one. And similar to the IMAI, just go slightly above it. And it should pick it up. And that is the booking in process for tracking units. Uh, it's worth noting also, there's various names for these units. Okay, so these here can be known as um, tracking unit. That's what customers will refer to these as, as most of the time. tracking units or trackers. Okay. If you're speaking with customers, it's best to try to use that term. Um, engineers are in the office here, sometimes we'll refer to these as columns or LMUs. Okay? If you really use that to a customer, it could confuse them. Okay? But they are just different names, but for the same product there, so it's just worth knowing that. Okay?